I'm back. Hello. How's everyone doing? Hopefully everyone is doing okay. I'm doing okay. The whole thing with the virus is crazy. And I want everybody to stay safe. Watch Dr. Phil. <laughs> and uh, just, you know, take care of yourself. It's been about a month since I've done a video. I've just been busy doing stuff. Um, <clears throat> but I'm back today to talk about another uh, notable artist in the uh, more on the progressive um, side of things. And I think in one of my other videos, it might have been the last one, um, talking about um, there wasn't a whole lot of examples of um, kind of like hard, harder progressive, more driving progressive. But this, uh, I feel, is um, exactly that, like a, a kind of a Goa-influenced uh, but psychedelic um, kind of a more driving progressive sound. Um, the first album by this artist, at any rate, was uh, made a big impression on me. I, I, I love it. Um, I still have it, clearly. And um, it's uh, what what's really great about this album is that it's really kind of like a concept album, and is um, uh, I feel is meant to be listened to as a whole because it has a flow that from beginning middle to end, you know, like a real narrative in this album and a narrative in an album is really important, you know, because then I feel like that, that shows you that the artist has a, has an intention and a story, you know, that they're trying to, um, convey through the music. So I want to talk about Double Dragon, the Continuum album released in 99, 2000 on Plusquam. No, sorry. Phantasm. My bad. Phantasm. This is a great album. It really is great. Um, and as far as anybody else who's done any kind of harder progressive stuff, um, not quite like this. There's been a lot of, there's been some other things that, that kind of veered into the harder progressive stuff, you know, maybe stuff on like cream crop records, for example, maybe like you made Magus, definitely or calcum and alienated those guys. Um, <clears throat> but at any rate, uh, the continuum album is, is fantastic. Um, so let's talk about the music. Um, a lot of really interesting detuned drum patterns that just sort of, um, they're not like, you know, really, uh, nice and clean sort of a thing. There are, there are a lot of them are very detuned and really kind of crunchy. And I really like that crunchy effects. And when I say crunchy, I mean like yeah. sort of like digitally distorted and detuned and, um, uh, you know, not like you're not just like a typical clean drum loop, you know, like that there's been effects They've been uh, processed with effects to make them sound sort of strange and just sort of um, distorted and things like that. Um, though, as a whole, this album is really groovy. You know, there's a, there's groove in this album, and there's definitely some sort of mid tempo tracks in it. But like I said before, like uh, about how I feel like this is a concept album, is that the groove factor and the energy builds in this album and peaks in the middle the middle end and then comes back down. So it, you know, in albums that do that, I feel like the artist is, is like I said before, uh, trying to convey uh, a certain, you know, they're, they're trying to give you a musical narrative. And when I say narrative, you don't know what that is. You know, it's like a, it's like in a book, you know, it's like in a story, you know, story has a beginning, a middle and an end. Characters have this, that and the other they have a problem they have a solution there's a character arc you know you follow it that's a narrative you know and you can hear that in music too um it might be more explicitly easily uh understood in maybe like classical music like you listen to like mozart or something um to hear the narratives i mean it depends on what your ear hears i i assume um really you know, like I said, detuned, pitchy drums, energetic synth lines, you know, takes like the digital, uh, the digital tail end of like the Goa Psytrance kind of, uh, um, madness and puts it into a, like a really kind of a harder progressive. And it's not like hard techno, you know, not like, not like extreme 
or um, band, groups like that where it was really more like, you know, techno trance. You know, this is definitely has a progressive flavor, you know. A um, lot of space. There's a lot of space in progressive trance, you know. All that delay, all that reverb, all those kind of effects, you know, that are like... That are that are all in this whole space where everything is just sort of like flowing, you know, kind of like water. Um, uh, tracks like "Encrusted Filth," everybody's favorite. You know, that's the peak of this album. You know, it all builds up to "Encrusted Filth," which is really great. You know, it's almost it's almost too much. You know, he he <clears throat> does a good job a good do a, <laughs> a good job of jamming a whole bunch of sound in there but still makes it a cohesive enough that you can follow it um and and you know if you're going to do that in progressive you know you, you there's a there's a threshold you know like like with you know pure goa or pure psychedelic trance the threshold is set higher up because it's because it's um it, it's it's it, there's 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 more playing field for for you to, to put sound in and with progressive the bar is set a little bit lower and i don't mean like like quality bar i'm talking about uh, uh in terms of how much sound you can actually pack into uh something that would fit into the progressive genre um you know really digitally deep you know like this album is like got a great if you like you know hard driving but not too hard like digital madness then this is a good one to get um uh and it's a great i mean and like i said you know it, it it has this it has the hump thing you know it goes up and then it goes down you know it starts from the bottom of the hill it goes up to the top of the hill and then it goes back down again great way to start and end an album you know because you can kind of pick and choose where you want to go in it you know i mean comparatively you know like if a whole album is just like straight hard and driving and thumping throughout you know that like every track is still going to be it's probably going to be on like the same plane but with, with an album like this you know you can kind of pick and choose where you want to go like especially if you're djing in a set you know you could grab the mid-tempo ones or you the more energy you can grab the the crazier ones you know do that kind of a thing and it gives you options um which i like um I'll talk about some of his, some of Double Dragon's 12 inches. Um, uh, the Shutter Crunch 12 inch on Phantasm, it came out in 99. Um, could maybe fit in with this album, you know. If if maybe Shutter was on it, um, I think it would fit. You know, it kind of doesn't fit, um, but maybe, maybe it would. Crunch is really weird and kind of doesn't make any sense. I think Crunch is sort of like, an experimental track to me where it's like well how much goa and psychedelic can we jam into a progressive track and it kind of is too much i feel like that the crunch track on the shutter crunch 12 inch really sort of exceeds the threshold you know whereas something like encrusted filth just barely touches it you know it doesn't go any further um however shutter <clears throat> is bizarre confusing well, not as much as Crunch, but it's definitely avant-garde progressive and the best use of formants, those synth those synthesized vowel sounds that you that you hear sometimes. The best use of formants as a lead synth line I have ever heard in a track. You know that is a really and I've and I've made tried to make tracks that have you know formants as a as a lead synth you know and that's hard to do you know you have to make it work because after all it is synthesized speech in a way in a sense you know so it's almost like you know it's not like a garbled sample but it kind of is so if you can actually take that and make it work in a track as a lead synth line i feel like that's a skill that's a real talent um you know it very driving not not really melodic just fast you know, fast, hard, progressive, very kind of unforgiving, very trippy. Um, if you haven't heard Shudder, I believe it's on my channel. Listen to Shudder, um, and you'll see what I mean. Um, that is pretty much the hardest 12-inch that he ever put out, uh, as far as I've seen. Um, from 99 to 02, looks like when uh, Double Dragon was really making music, you know, um, Phantasm, Spiral Tracks International, Psychic Daily, Spirit Zone, Plus Quam, 
Um, I have and have heard everything he's done except for the Resonate EP on Plus Cram in 2002. I just don't have it. I never got it. But I have Tin Drum, Stylophone, the Spiked Remix, Wetware, 12-inch, and the Cabin Fever EP are all really good, really nice, uh, progressive trance, you know, kind of like Human Blue um, kind of a thing, you know, like really nice flowing, you know, or even kind of like a Vibersphere or something like that. Um, I used to play a lot of Double Dragon in my progressive sets um, because... Um, there's a there's a real a really good flow in his music, you know, and it's creative, you know, and kind of trippy. But like, and of course, there's the uh, the transparent LP, which came out in O2, which is really, you know, it's 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 quite different from this, you know, very very uh, well. It's it's pretty deep. It's not very not too deep, but it's very progressive, you know. A lot of you know those delay and reverb effects, you know, and that wobble, you know, that um, you get with that. But this one right here stands alone in terms of what hard progressive uh, did, you know. And this is 1999, 2000, you know. So this was the this was a few years after Goa was done, you know, when progressive was really starting to take over. And um, I love this album. And if you haven't heard it, I would I highly recommend it because it's just a sort of a it's a real notable one in terms of you know how far you could feasibly take progressive to a more of a dancey driving <clears throat> aspect that still has a good narrative and has that you know storytelling that's in it so double dragon uh continuum it's great uh like i said before i hope everyone is taking care of themselves and being safe i wish everybody the best and i will see you again soon